This happened to you more than you'd like to admit? Well, trying to change CDs out from a generic CD case can be quite a dangerous task while driving. So I've looked long and hard into a solution that prevent this from ever happening again. I knew I wanted to make a new CD case, but I wanted one where the CDs could be easily seen and I could pull them out with just one hand. That's when I noticed the center console, the perfect place for holding my CD holding contraption. After taking some dimensions, I drafted up the product. The concept of the design is that the CDs are stacked at a compound angle to make them easier to see individually. A spring-loaded plunger then keeps them all pressed forward. Having decided to make the product out of wood, the product is split into several different components to make it possible to manufacture. So with the drawing set, it was time to build. Many different tools were used in making this product even though many design elements were simplified during manufacturing. I started with the components that would actually hold the CDs, since I thought that they would be the hardest to make. After cutting the basic block form of the part, I then cut it and glued a printout of the profile of the part to the end of the block. Somewhat painfully, I milled down as close as I could to the glued profile I put on the block. Literal hours of hand sanding commenced to get the profile smooth into shape. Two slots were then milled into each half, one to act as a guide for the plunger, and one to form a joint between the two halves for when they're glued together. And finally, the compound angle on the front is cut using the chop saw. With perhaps the hardest part done, I was ready to move on to simpler components. Next was the plunger to which I started by making the compound angle. Using another printout, I used the vertical bandsaw to cut the odd shape of the plunger. I then sanded down the plunger to its final shape. I then moved on to making the back portion of the product, to which I decided to make removable in case anything happened or went wrong with the mechanisms in the back. To prevent the spring in the back from buckling, I drilled a 3 quarter inch dowel so that a 3 8 inch dowel could slide through. Holes were drilled in the back piece and the plunger, and these dowels were then glued in. After making the front piece, I began the process of gluing the components together. The main body then had to be sanded to fit the form of the center console. At last, I was on the home stretch. I only had one more component to make, the component that actually suspends the entire thing in the center console. I decided to split the component into two halves so that the back piece was still separable. After some finishing sanding, I could glue the rest of the components together. The product may have some faults, but I believe it is a step in the right direction to keeping the driver's focus on the road.